Joining us now from West Des Moines, Iowa, is CBS News political analyst John Dickerson. John, good morning. Good morning, Chris. John, how do you recover from something like this? Well, uh, the congressman has two important groups that he has to recover with. The first are his Democratic colleagues, and the best way to do that is to go away, to have this story stop being a distraction and to stop so being sorry. a punchline. That, that requires, of course, that, that there be no new disclosures. The second group that he has to deal with are his constituents, and in some, he has to just deal with what they care about. He has to stick to his knitting, stay out of the public spotlight, and hope that they forgive him. Uh, like Nancy mentioned a second ago, Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi is calling for an investigation right now. If the congressman from New York was looking for any support from his colleagues yesterday, he sure didn't get it. He got no support, uh, but uh, that's to be expected, and his hope has to be that they don't uh, continue talking about him to reporters and that he gives them no cause to, that there are no other shoes to drop, that everything he said in public checks yeah, out, like and that the ethics investigation finds out that he broke no actual rules. There will be a difficult moment when they have to issue a report, mostly because they just have to engage in this icky story again. But if that's the only other time that they have to deal with it, he might be able to find a path where he can stop being an embarrassment to the party and let them go back to doing what they want to do. And particularly if all of that can happen before next year's election year, then he might have a chance to survive. Does it look as though he's broken any rules? I mean, he, he seemed to say yesterday that he didn't. But who, know, I mean, well, who knows what to believe, because he, he has not been forthcoming. He said that he didn't break any rules, yeah. but of course he, uh, uh, he said a lot of things in the previous week that didn't turn out to be true. So we don't know, that doesn't seem at the moment, that he broke any rules, but the investigation will find out. Well, let's talk about the ripple effects of this scandal and on the Democratic Party. This is a, a, a rising star in the party. What, what now happens, and what are some of the, the ramifications here? Well, he was a rising star mostly for his mouth. He was a great spokesman for the, the liberal Democratic portion of the party. He no longer will be able to do that for a long period of time until this blows over, and that may be many, many years if he survives. Uh, the White House probably is not unhappy about the fact that he's not a uh, spokesman anymore. He was often very critical of President Obama, so they, as far as that Democratic uh, part of the party is concerned, they are uh, probably okay with this. Uh, as far as the rest of the party goes, it, it again depends on how much he is still in the news and how much in terms of the way Democratic leadership treats him and treats this ethics investigation, Republicans can make the charge, you know, that, that, that Democrats are allowing this to continue when they really should find some way to be done with him. But the, there is a small uh, problem for Republicans if they want to press this, is that people want to look away from this ickiness. And if you are the person uh, pushing that they be forced to look at it, that can sometimes have a political downside. Yeah. All right. John Dickerson for us in Iowa this morning. John, thank you. Good to talk with you.